literally the other thing that I wanted to do is uh <laughs> is actually fucking give out predictions for the Jets. And uh, I will be going over that really quickly before we go ahead and get into some Fortnite. Today's stream, like I said, is going to be very is going to be shorter than usual because I just personally just don't have enough energy like that at the moment. But guess what? Jets predictions, shall we? Hold on. We got to we got to fix this a little bit because I'm going to give y'all some predictions right here. Hold on. All right. All right. If you guys are watching, let us know. Hope everyone's having a good one today so far. But literally, you guys, I personally am all like, dude. Dude. I'm not ready for this at all. This fucking semester is gonna kill me. Because it's actually gonna fucking kill me. And I'm not too sure how, if I'm ready for it or not. We'll just have to see. But, um, let's see. I just don't know where Emmett and Blue is. Which I will actually get on the game right now. I'll get on the game. But guys. Like, come on. Like, the Jets, right? All I'm going to say is with the Jets. The Jets, man, they are something. Because the NFL season starts this Thursday. And it feels good to have football back. It does. Problem is, I'm a fan of the Jets. So, all I'm going to say is right now. The Jets season this year is going to be a very interesting one. Because, because I personally don't know what to think. And... All I gotta hope for is for for Sam Darnold to have a great season, right? I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping Sam Darnold has a great season. We're probably gonna have another losing record. I feel like that's something that is gonna be inevitable. I hardly doubt that we will go above 500 unless something happens. I feel like we easily could have been over 500. I think we could have been at least neutral if Sam didn't have a uh, freaking mono last year. But I personally think, in my opinion, I think the Jets are going to do a little worse this year. And it's mostly because we still have that bum Adam Gase on our team as the coach. And then you have to also think of we don't really have some key parts such as Jamal Adams is gone. Uh, CJ Mosley opted out. And then we do have a new O-line. We do have a new wide receiving core. Or I feel like we have some people back, but obviously Robbie Anderson is that one piece that, you know, a lot of Jets fans were hoping to possibly re-sign in the offseason, but obviously that didn't happen. So I feel like the Jets... This is what I hope for. I hope the Jets have a have an okay year like there's really like no huge upside other than playoffs but i hardly i doubt that we are gonna even see playoffs this year or even be in the conversation so i think the jets are a good i think we're gonna be staying in where we were last year i think we're gonna be staying around the six to ten seven and nine eight and eight range we could do worse, we could do better, but I personally think the ceiling is 8-8. Eight and eight. I don't think we're going to go 9-7, and seven, only because of how tough our schedule is as well. We have the NFC West, so I... Wait, is it the NFC West or is it the AFC West? I think it's the NFC West. Hold on, wait. Jets schedule. Schedule 2020. Oh, it's the AFC West. Oh, and the NFC West. See, that's that right there is just... It's so tough. It's so tough. Like, we have Chargers, Chiefs, and that's all like, bro. Like, that's so... That is such a tough schedule, in my opinion. So, I think the Jets are at best at an 8-8. An eight and eight. But I think it's going to be around the 6-10, to 7-9 range. Hopefully, by the end of the year, Sam Darnold is going to be hailed as... Still a quarterback that needs... Some weapons. 
and wide receivers <laughs> because we need wide receiver help at all costs we don't have like that all-star guy and it kind of bothers me that we don't have like a huge wide receiver to help sam darnold out we got lots of o-line help this offseason we obviously drafted becton in the draft and we got some new people um we do have some old people as well uh we signed george fant um but I think the O-line's going to do better. I think that's going to be something. The wide receiver core is definitely something that I have no doubt in my mind we're going to be struggling in that department. Tight end is going to be interesting. I, I think it's going to be very interesting. But I think, in my opinion... What's up, James? What's up, Emmett? You talking football? Yes, sir. Uh, we got NFC West and AFC North. The Cowboys do? Oof. Oh yeah, the Jets have the AFC West, which consists of Chiefs, Chargers, uh, who else? Broncos, right? And then who's the other one? Raiders. And then we also have the NFC West, which consists of Seattle, both LA... Oh wait, no, we have both LA teams, as well as... Fucking shit. Uh... Seahawks, Rams, obviously AFC West, East, that's obviously a given. Uh, Cardinals, 49ers, there you go. That's the team I forgot. But yeah, the Jets, I'm going to say it right now, if you guys are just now tuning in, the Jets season is going to be at best an 8-8, eight and eight, and at worst a 5-11 and 6-10 and and, uh, and ten season. I personally think we're going 6-10 and ten to 7-9 and nine again. Hopefully, by the end of this year, Adam Gase is gone. Hopefully, in the next offseason, Joe Douglas will continue to work his fucking magic and shit. But I personally don't have any sort of high hopes for the season, guys. I, I don't see it happening. Like, I, there's no playoffs. That's definitely not happening. There's no... There's no... All I gotta hope for is for this team to mesh well together. I hope Sam Darnold has a great year. And I feel like... All Jets fans are hoping for that. And I hope Sam Darnold just... I hope he... I hope his turnover... I hope his tur turnovers isn't as, you know, often as it was last year. And I hope to God that he stays healthy as well, because I don't want him to have mono again. So, that's something there. Emmett said, I believe this is a 10 and 6. 10 and 6? I mean, I think... Let me check the Cowboys schedule. I think, in my opinion, with Mike McCarthy, you don't have the clapper anymore. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, you got the Rams and you got Falcons. I think you could be 1-1 there. I think the loss is going to be at the Rams, but who knows at that point. Trade to Jamal. No way you're getting the 8-9 wins. No, yeah, I... I... I think, like I said, I I said this earlier, but I don't think we're going 9-7. I think at best we are 8-8, eight and eight, but at worst we can be 5-11, and 11, 6 to, wait, 6 and, 6 and, wait, 6 and 10, 7 to 9. I think that's, I think that's where it's going to be at. Like I said, at worst we're going to be like 4-12 and 12 or 5-11, and 11. but I think, in my opinion... The Jets fans really should not have their hopes up this year. All I'm hoping for is Sam Darnold to have a great year, and I hope the team meshes well, especially with our new draft picks. But that's literally all I'm hoping for because I know damn well we're not gonna have this. We're not. We're not gonna have a great year with fucking Adam Gase as our head coach. It's not happening, chat. As long as that fucking guy is our head coach, it's not happening. It's not happening. So. Hopefully by the end of this year, man, we hopefully we fire him or something because we need him to get the fuck out. Heike, we need him to get the fuck out. But that's just me, though. It's going to be real building for at least two years. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree because, like I said, our wide receiver core is questionable. We our tight ends are OK. We did re-sign that guy to an extension, but apparently he's like injured uh, again. 
Um, our defense is probably gonna be... It's do most definitely gonna be a little worse because of Jamal leaving. Um... I think our running defense game is going to be all right still. We still have, um, we still have Quinn and Williams still there, but he has to get better, obviously. Um, I think our defense is still going to be all right. Not the best, like last year. I think our defense last year was way, was better than this year, but because of Jamal. And we still don't have CJ Mosley, which is still a bummer. Um, our offense is just going to be, it's just going to be up in the air. We're just going to have to see what happens when Sunday comes. I That's all I got to say about that. Let's see. Chilling music, though. Uh, it's uh, Lily Pichu. Lily Pichu. So here you go, guys. Here, Here's the Jets right here, right? Oh, wait. I'll, I'll give you guys a graphic so it's much better to look at. Um, Let's see. I think this works. This works. There we go. Let me move my OBS to here. Alright, so... Here's our schedule. Here's the Jets' schedule. We have Buffalo, and then we have San Francisco for our first two games. <laughs> this is this is 0-2 already, guys. <laughs> this is 0-2 already. The only wins I see here that I feel like is a guarantee... Honestly, you can't even guarantee a win with these things. Like, some of these are toss-ups. Like, I know Buffalo's gonna be good. Denver might be good, especially with Drew Locke as their quarterback. I think it's still Drew Locke. San Francisco is an auto L, I think. Buffalo might be an L this, this upcoming week. Because I think Buffalo is... I think Buffalo got a little better this offseason, especially with Stefan Diggs being there. Um... The Chiefs is a loss. Um, one of these Patriots ones is going to be a loss, no matter what. Uh, Seattle is going to be a loss. See, guys, I already, I'm already telling you guys right now. Like, it's already not looking great. <laughs> like, when you guys take a look at this, it's already not looking amazing at all. It's not. So, yeah, I can see the first two games being a loss. And then I think the Colts one is good. That could be a win. But if it's Phillip Rivers at quarterback, that might be tough. You have Denver, that could be okay. Like I said, guys, the Jets season, it's just looking at that schedule, it's not its not going to look amazing. So I that's all I'm going to say about y'all, because I don't know what's going to happen. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, with that being said, let's move to Fortnite now, because I got to freaking play by the way we're playing fortnite and mario kart 8 deluxe today guys so if anyone would like to join us for mario kart 8 later which will be happening in about an hour or so like i say today's stream is going to be a little shorter than usual um but uh yeah but i think in my opinion so we can at least so we can at least say it on on the spot right now so no one will fucking flame me on twitter for saying that because Larlar said this, the Jets aren't be gonna be good. The Jets are gonna have another shit year. And I'm hoping to God that Adam Gase is fired by the end of it, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. The Jets are gonna have another shitty year. Our ceiling is eight and eight. At what at worst, we could be four and twelve, five and eleven. 6 and 10, 7 and 9. It's going to be around that range, guaranteed. The record is going to be around there. I'll be surprised if the Jets somehow get a huge, like, what is it? Like a huge, what should I say? I will be surprised if the Jets somehow get a positive uh, record this year. I will be surprised. I don't want that to happen, though, because we have Adam Gase. <laughs> So, yeah. By the way, I'm in Tyrell's Discord. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, dude, if you want to join my Discord, you can too as well. Uh, basically, you know, just got a lot of stuff in here. I updated the Discord, especially a lot before school starts in two days. So, if you want to come through and join through, uh, it's the best way to get stream announcements and all that kind of stuff. You talk with other people in the community as well. So, come through and join. 
Okay, well, chat, that's all I gotta say. I think the Jets are going. I think if I was gonna put a record down, I think we're gonna go six and 10. I think that's what's gonna be. Six and 10 or five and 11, but if I had to choose six and 10, is probably gonna be what our record is gonna be this year. But I, by the end of the year, I hope Sam Darnold has a great year and I hope the team continues to mesh well together if possible. It's just that we have Adam Gase as our coach. That's the problem. That like Adam Gase is literally the only problem we have. I should not say that. Adam Gase is one of the problems we have. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just hoping and I believe that Joe Douglas will give, bring us to the promised land, hopefully. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say with the Jets. I think the Jets at best are going eight and eight, but I think if I was going to put my foot down and say a record right now, six and 10, I think it's going to be like that. We're most likely even going to be last in the division. I think Miami's going to do better than us. Obviously new England's going to do better than us. And obviously bills are going to do better than us. So it is what it is. I'm a sad Jets fan, like always, but um, I just got to hope and pray that uh, by the end of this year, Adam Gase is gone. That's all I got to say about that.